this morning I'm doing some real work. Um, I am doing a viewing on a property, uh, but it's a video viewing in these um, strange times where uh, we can't um, be on site and doing uh, you know, face to face viewings. Um, what we're doing is every uh, property that we've got empty, uh, we're coming around doing a video walkthrough and uh, I've done this one at this property already. Um, we've got the normal photographs as well of course but uh, before anybody would um, take this property they obviously want to see it um, so we'll, we'll forward them a link to a video viewing which is um, it's pretty good actually, I have to say. You know, um, using uh, just a, an iPhone, which these days are really, really high quality, of course. You know, it's, it's HD. Uh, we've got an image stabilizing um, uh, bit of kit here, and we really take our time to go through it. So each video is about five minutes long. It's really important that it's it's the property as it is. You know, it's not some marketing shot that uh, was taken when the thing was just renovated. We're going around and through the property as it is now, as the person will move into it. And by doing this, we're finding that we're still managing to rent properties um, completely. I mean, the, the guy that will actually eventually rent this for us in, in our business is sat at, uh, at his desk um, looking at all the leads. And we've got more leads coming in than we would normally because not many letting agencies are doing what we're doing. So we're getting more than what would normally be our fair share. Um, he'll be sat in his office um, at home sending out uh, a link to this video to somebody who can view this property. If they'd like to take it, um, they can do everything o over the internet. So they can sign up, um, do, go through all the referencing, pay all the fees and eventually sign the tenancy agreement and the inventory all online. Um, if they do want to do a viewing, we've got a key box outside and um, that they will be able to do a, a viewing if, if they want to do a viewing. So we'll drive up, open the key box, go sit in the car, they will get out of their car, come and do the viewing and then leave. And so there'll never actually be a, an interaction. They might sort of speak from uh, at least two meters away. And, uh, and, and and we can do that as well. But what we're finding is not many tenants are. They're watching these videos and, uh, and getting the house through. So a really good, innovative um, thing that's come out of this uh, you know, situation. Uh, it, it's, it's meaning we're actually renting more than our fair share of properties. Our landlords are not sat with empty properties if they, if they don't need to be. It's a little bit trickier in an HMO, but it's not impossible. Um, we quite often can't do a video uh, if, if if there's somebody in there self-isolating, well, oh, not quite often, never can do a video if there's somebody in there self-isolating. Um, but if not, we can. And like I say, it's working. So, cool little bit of information. And uh, I think this is something that we might we might continue with after the current situation. You know, do a, do a nice video of each one, and um, you know, give people the option of a, a virtual viewing or a real viewing. Good for overseas students. Good for uh, people who, you know, even even not overseas, moving in from out of the area, you know, two hour drive just to view, see see a property. Um, even if they do a, a real life viewing at, at some point, the video viewing will end up being a quite a quite a useful thing, I'm sure. So, just thought I'd give you a quick update. And like I say, I'm I'm going around. I'm personally doing four of these today, so I'm I'm mucking in. All right, that's the end of the video, the update.